what is going on guys welcome back to another call for a wild video or fishing the florida gulf coast you guys already know now with today's video guys we are attempting to go to three mile bridge and try to catch some big monsters over there red snapper redfish um grouper flounder mangrove snapper there's a ton of species over there on that bridge and that's where we were planning on fishing the whole entire day i actually had work today and the bay was absolutely flat i mean there was like seven mile an hour winds all day and the minute we get out here it just blew up anyway we're gonna try to fish with what we're giving with uh we're, i'm fixing to throw my cast net hopefully try to catch some bait if you guys are new here and y'all like fishing saltwater fishing here in florida make sure to hit that like button guys it helps the channel grow a lot and also subscribe if you're new here and uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the video Hope you guys are staying safe out there. Let's catch some bait. some water in this bucket oh my gosh i see a freaking school of finger mullet holy cow please stay there please stay there all right where are they at oh they're right here still they're right here still guys freaking good school oh gosh those are some good mullet oh my gosh those are some good mullet oh yeah i got some oh yeah Oh yeah, perfect size mullets. That is what we are after, golly. Let me angle this GoPro down a little bit for y'all. You can't really get much, much of a better bait than that right there. Y'all check out these baits. That right there is what we want. Golly, that is a good bait. We're fixing to be ready to rock and roll. Still a little windy, but we ain't gonna catch fish if we're too scared of the scared of the waves, Corey. You know what I mean? Alrighty guys. As you know it, the weather got pretty bad on the way out to Three Mile Bridge. I mean it was pretty bad. Um so we decided to stick it in here, kind of close to shore. Am I getting bites? Might be getting a little bite. Oh my gosh, he's getting whacked, dude. This mullet's getting smacked, guys. Getting absolutely devoured. I don't know what it is. It might, that might be a flounder, man. Oh, dude, he's he's getting whacked by something. What is that? Come on, take it. I don't know if it's a flounder or what. Something just devoured that that mullet, though. I mean, devoured it. No, he's still on there, but dude, something was destroying it. I'm gonna cast right on that thing again. Oh, there he is. That's a good fish, guys. That is a good fish. Oh my gosh, he picked up the mullet off the bottom. Unbelievable, I wasn't even looking. That's a good fish right there. He's swimming towards me. What is this? Not too big. What is that? Is that a mangrove? No, <laughs> that is a nice mangrove. Dang. That's a slob mangrove. Heck yeah, get your butt in here, buddy. On the finger mullet. Heck yeah. Well, maybe it was a snapper after all. Y'all check out that. Hold on, let me get this guy off the freaking hook. Show you guys, dude. He absolutely took that mullet. Like, not even a freaking bite, man. Just one gulp. Y'all look at that. Live finger mullet. Catching mangrove snappers on this little structure here in Pensacola Bay. Now, I guess that was what was biting the first time. I'm, I'm not too sure, but he absolutely devoured that freaking finger mullet. But we're going to get another hook on and cast another one of those uh, finger mullet back under that little structure. That's awesome. I guarantee you there's a couple flounder hanging around this structure. Did you just cast on this side? All right. Oh. Is this gonna bite? 
I'm right then. I hope I'm not. Oh my gosh. Fish on. That might be a bull red. On anchor, on anchor, on anchor. Oh, he's about to dump me. On anchor, dude. On anchor, Corey. That might be a bull red, guys. He's, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. No, no, he's still on. Oh, yeah, you're good, you're good, you're good. Oh my gosh, he swam so fast towards me. That hook's gotta be loose. On a live finger mullet, guys, that jumbo finger mullet. Oh yeah. Dude, he absolutely devoured that mullet. I'm excited, guys, I'm sorry. I'm getting a little emotional over here. But when you catch fish like this, you gotta get emotional. Ain't that right, Corey? That's right. And this is a good one too, brother. He absolutely smacked that freaking mullet. Oh, Corey almost done knocked me off the boat. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a nice fish, man. This just might be a bull red. That's what you got. What is that? Oh, this is also a really light rod too. Dang, he's got some freaking runs in him though. Red. Yeah, he's not fighting like a redfish. I don't know what this is. We might have a big jack on. Could be a shark. Oh, it's a big jack. Yeah. Oh, that would explain that that dumping of the reel. That's a nice jack there. Oh yeah, that's probably my biggest, honestly. Oh, these things can literally turn on a dime. They are some of the most powerful fighting fish out there. The bigger ones, they call them hour jacks. Uh-oh. Right, put us in. He's going under the boat. Oh! Y'all listen to that drag. Don't get me in the rocks, bud. Goodness gracious. He's still, he's still got a lot of fight in him. <coughs> oh, yeah. We got to, hey, kind of go to the right. I'm going to tighten my drag up a little bit. I know I'm not. You good? You got enough space? Uh, kind of. Okay. I'm trying to pull them away from those pylons. Oh, you're good. Go ahead and stop. I'm going to get down here so I can give you some space. Man, that's a good one. That's a pretty good jack right there. That's honestly my biggest one too. Now there's some that get about twice this big and they call them hour jacks. Y'all go watch Blair Wiggins, you'll know what I'm talking about, but it sometimes can take you up to an hour to reel these things in. I mean, they, they are some of the hardest fighting fish. They're in the amberjack family. Ooh, I think I felt that line. Get around his gill plate. Golly, man, come on. I'm about done fighting you. I'm ready to get some freaking mangoes. Man. All right, he's getting kind of close. I'm trying to hold my drag too. So he, while I got him right here, I got 12 pound test. I got a really, really small line. Probably gonna come around this side. Man, this thing is giving me a workout. He wants to go away. Putting a lot of tension on that line right now. Dang it! Gosh! Rug me off. God dang it, man. Be all right. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Well, I know they're still out there. We're gonna, I'm going to tie on another hook. You got my hook. And uh, hopefully we'll get another one. That was a fun fight while it lasted. I'm just grateful that he freaking yeah, went for it. And... Yeah, good. Golly. We'll get back to you guys. I'm going to re-rig and hopefully we'll get another fish like that. I'd rather catch one of them than a freaking redfish, honestly, because that was a fun fight. Yeah. That first run that he did, he just, he almost dumped my drag, man.
I'm telling you, that was like a tarpon, dude. Yeah. All right, we'll get back to you guys and we get to the spot and rig up. Well, the bay got a little too rough, so what we decided to do is come up in here in these uh, flats, and we're gonna be throwing a live target shrimp. It's got one eyeball. <laughs> one of the eyeballs already fell off of it. So we're gonna use this one-eyed shrimp and try to catch us some fish, some specks, maybe a couple of reds, and uh, see what happens. Like I said, it just got too rough in the bay, and um, we were having a lot of luck at that spot, but, you know, we just kind of wanted to come in here where we're a little bit more calmer and try to catch some redfish and stuff like that. Come on, fishy. Dude, that was a big blow up. There he is. Hey, I, I, I need you to, that trolling motor, there he is. He smacked it. He's on that pylon. I got him that time. Yep, he's on there. I'm going to let my bail. No, gosh. Okay, stop right here. He's in there. He's in there somewhere. He's in there somewhere. Well guys, that is going to do it for the video. Um, it was an all right day here in Pensacola Bay, but you know, sometimes the weather conditions, you know, sometimes they just go that way and that's how it is. But you know, we did catch a couple mangrove snapper. I did fight that Jack for a long time. Unfortunately, I lost him at the dock or not the dock, but I lost him at the boat. And then I also, you know, we went into uh, this little flats area and we were throwing live target shrimps and stuff like that and i did miss one fish in there so all in all you know it wasn't a great day but it also wasn't the worst day ever i'm just glad to get on the water um with Corey. and uh, yeah so hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys are new here and y'all like fishing make sure to subscribe and um if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like on the video and i'll see you guys in the next video